One. He's gonna come white. White, white, white got me. He's one shot, one shot. Uh, four. Uh, What's up guys? All right, so today we are going to be doing an upper and a guide for Wamai. We're going to be talking about his loadout, his utility, and how to effectively play Wamai and rank up and win matches as Wamai. So let's get to it. All right, so let's talk his loadout. Wamai has a decent arsenal of weapons. So you have the AUG. You can only have one X's. Flash Hatter. I mean, Compensator Suppressor. I would use the Flash Hatter. And uh, yeah, let's damage. 42 it is one of the only attack uh sorry defender assault rifles in the game i was gonna say attacker assault rifles because normally attackers only get the assault rifles but wamai is an exception wamai does get the aug so 42 damage 70 uh, 20 fire rate you can out dps some of the attackers so it's pretty great and then you have the mp5k so a lot less damage a slightly faster fire rate but you're gonna get the one five the one five is the best scope in the game personally it is a good combination between the hollow and an ACOG, so great gun. But in the future, my maybe losing that one five. So the AUG is going to reign king in terms of just overall performance. So, all right, then you have the Keratos and the P12. My opinion, I'm always on the Keratos. So, damage wise, I mean, you know, pistols, if you're going for headshots, sure, the P12 is fine, but. This has more than just actual damage. It has utility. You can make lines of sight very easily, which I'll show you guys in a bit. With the Kyrados, you can just like blast right through. So, hey. And then you have impacts and proximity alarms. So these are, it's kind of depends on the situation. If you don't have a lot of like barbed wire or let's say banshees, like Malusi, running proximity alarm is not necessarily a bad idea on certain maps, like let's say Chalet. Like when there's a lot of entryways that people can come through. So there's a lot of times you won't get a lot of use out of your impacts. Impacts are going to be your go-to gadget to use. But if you find a use for proximity alarms, they can still help pretty well. So let's talk about Wamai's utility and setup. So like I said, the Kyrados is great for making lines of sight. If you don't have a shotgun player or if your shotgun player is busy and you just want to help out set up, you can do that very easily as Wamai. They end up extremely fast with the Kyrados. So like, it shreds through walls, good to go. All right, so let's talk about his gadget, his, his disc. So you get, I, I believe five overall. You get six overall. Okay, so you get six overall, okay? And you get them throughout the round. So every disc that you throw activates in that amount of time. And when it's active, if anyone throws a grenade, flashbang, any hell, even Capitel bolts. I mean, well, Jaeger doesn't even do that. So anything that comes through this door is going to get absorbed by the Swamai. And look at how long this lasts. It'll take that. It'll grab a utility and it'll detonate after that amount of time. So it doesn't actually destroy the utility like Jaeger's ADS. It will still detonate the utility just exactly where the disc is. So let's say we have a smoke plane elbow right here. Putting a disc here and then throwing a frag grenade is still going to have the grenade blow up in this vicinity. It'll give a smoke plenty of time to run away, but it's not going to save the shield. So when using the disc, you need to use it differently compared to Jaeger's gadget like the ADS. So you need to throw them scattered because let's say they throw a frag grenade. You don't want your disc too close because they will destroy each other. So I'm gonna, I put one there, one there. Maybe put one here if someone's playing this tarp door. And I would still put one here just to save the, the smoke, maybe. I mean, if they get through all that, I'd still put one there just to make sure the smoke stays alive. All right, so we just showed how to set up like at Oregon on the bunker. So we're gonna show that in practice, how it actually looks. So I'm holding tarp door, one's at the tower, one's at bunker, throw the disc. I, my smoke's getting pushed, he calls out, he's getting pushed. I swing over, they threw a frag grenade, so you're gonna see that go off. So I swing out and that frag grenade will still go off. So, Instead of the smoke getting exploded, he runs away. I save him from the frag grenade with my utility and I also kill them both. So this gun is great because you do so much damage to the body. I mean, the AUG is an amazing gun. You don't have to necessarily go for headshots with this gun. It does a lot of damage compared to all other defender guns. You can actually out DPS the attackers. Obviously you wanna go for headshots if you can, but if you can't, don't be afraid to just aim a little bit lower and just get the shots in. So, Wumai, 
is great because he has so much flexibility. The way that you can play him, you can just kind of run around as much as you want and then throw your disc near the site. And knowing that the attack utility is going to be a lot harder for them to actually get on your teammates. So it's really, it's really fun. Jaeger, you have to set them up in advance. So Wamai is more on the fly. You can move around a little bit more. So the way that I like to compare the two is Wamai is a little bit more active, a little bit more of a gunfighter, more of a little more aggro. And Jaeger is more like setting up. And then once he's done setting up, he doesn't have to stay alive. He can do whatever he wants. So Wamai is going to be a lot stronger in the late game, I believe, than Jaeger. But still, like, Wamai or Jaeger, I mean, you're not really going wrong. Because a lot of times you're going to pair both of them together. Like, you see you, here you have a Jaeger and a Wamai. Let's talk about why. So that's shield. It's going to have, let's say, three ADSs. So it's going to be really hard to get that shield via the bunker, but everything else won't have ADSs. So what I do is with my, I put like one here, one here to help hold the shield, and then I'll put them in different spots. I'll put one at tower, I'll put one for the T1 walk down, a pillar, put one on my tarp door, maybe put one freezer. I'll put them all over the place because all of Jaeger's utility can't really move without him going over to it, picking it up and running around. And I could just throw these on the fly without really much setup. All right, let's talk about why Wumai is one of my favorite operators, along with Malusi. But why Wumai is one of my favorite operators compared to like Jaeger. Having impacts is just so great for the late game applications. And Wumai getting multiple discs in the late game definitely encourages you to stay alive a little bit longer so you can give your teammates a little bit more, a couple more discs before you do some crazy plays like this. Impacting through all the way and just getting the jump on people. When they think they have everything clear and you just impact yourself in. I mean, not many operators are able of to do this i mean you need impacts obviously jaeger only has access to like say barb and a bulletproof so i know i'm talking about jaeger a lot and jaeger is a solid operator Wumai is just a little bit more is a little bit better in the mid to late game that's why a lot of times in like comp or like higher elo you'll see a lot more Wumai players because Wumai's guns are a little bit easier to use and he's gonna have a lot of discs by the end of the round and he's gonna be able to do a lot more at the end of the round most of the time, then Jaeger will be able to. All right, let's break down some of these clips and talk about why we did what we did. So I'm in Oregon, wall is open, it is a 3v4, my teammates at Bolo, holding that trophy door. So I'm watching for the walk-in. I'm waiting for the walk-in, we take him out. That 1.5 is great for holding angles like this because it's, I mean, it's just a really good gun. So we take him out, my teammates swinging Bolo, so I also swing out and we get a nice little shot there. Here, let's get, get a little warpy there. So remember how he said there's one white. So after we deal with the guy at Bolo, I need to get the hell over there because honestly, I probably shouldn't have swung the trophy guy. My teammate was going to deal with him. I need to swing the white guy. So after we kill this guy, we swing into the white guy. White guy goes to the rotate because there shouldn't have been a rotate at top white, but there was. So he goes to the white rotate, takes out my teammate. I see him, but no clean shot. I hear a sledge. And then obviously you guys see how this ends. Let it be. I regret saying that now, but why is great for those late game applications. He has an amazing gun. If you're a shooter, you will do very well as well. My, like I said, like I, I don't want to compare it against Jaeger too much because Jaeger is a solid operator. It's just Jaeger is more utility focused while Wamai is more kind of gunner focused. It's like picking Oryx versus like, I don't know, an operator that brings actual utility. <laughs> hey, don't get me wrong though. Oryx has decent applications too. It's just, there are some operators that you pick because you're a fragger, not because you're bringing utility. So. And Wamai has amazing utility still. He just is also a gunner. So this is a little bit of an older clip. Wamai in the 1v3, it's a coastline. Okay, uh, default, I'm just waiting for either audio for the plant to go down because the second a plant goes down, what you need to be doing on defense is taking the aggressive fights. Yes, they're going to be looking for you, but that is one guy out of three that's going to be face first in the ground. So if I can swing and potentially kill those other two guys, then it's only a 1v2 so that, instead of a 1v3. We take one out. I don't know where the other guy is. We jump over, take him out too. I think I end up just diffusing this. I had no idea where he was. I think I heard him repelling outside. I just walk over and defuse the bomb. <laughs> yeah, that, that guy was in Narnia. I, I don't know what he was doing, but like, <laughs> I 
I, I don't know what he was doing. Anyways, <laughs> well, my great operator for the late game. Those discs, I mean, you're going to have like a billion discs. Like you're going to be wow, throwing them willy nilly. And honestly, by the time late game even comes up, the attackers probably aren't going to have enough utility to really clear you. So Jaeger will get more charges out of his ADSs if they if the attackers are playing a little bit more scatterbrained and not really coordinated but overall if the attackers are more coordinated I feel like Wamai is going to be better because Jaeger can only block three while Wamai will get like five or six discs potentially I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to show this clip because of who was in it but I, I did clip this because Wamai so we swing up Pretty fine. Like, like I'm not even aiming for the head here. This just gun just does crazy damage. Like you can get away with just pretty firing like crazy. As long as you're getting a piece of them, they're gonna go down real fast. What? Always have to swing the bunker. So when I'm playing an operator like Wumai, I'm not really afraid to take aggressive firefights because I mean, compared to like let's say the MP5, I it's uh, the AUG itself is gonna have crazy damage if i'm running more of an mp5 vibe with a 1.5 i'm gonna play a little bit longer range holding pixels because i will be able to, to get that range on them i can do that with the 1x2 but the 1x is better for a more up in your face kind of vibe you see my journey not paying attention we take up and then he also drops how oh, fast these guys are going down and then the Kyrados. you can't sleep on the Kyrados. All right, here's another decent Wumai play. So like I said, I mean, you're going to see a lot of Wumai on Oregon. I mean, this is just one of the maps that he's just extremely good on. I mean, you can play Wumai on basically any map, but a lot of times I will play him on Oregon because of how much utility is usually coming. I, you're normally going to see a Yaker and a Wumai on Oregon. So I will always be aggressive when I'm playing Wumai because I'm just not afraid. And then dropping those discs down just in case more grenades come out. I think I die there. Yeah, I'll, sh I'll show my death. I'm not afraid. So I swing up like I was going to again. I mean, did that, did that several times in a row. So that was pretty dumb to do it a third time. But swinging around to site because I know that I'm never going to have to worry about like grenade or utility or anything like that or flashbangs. I'm just going to keep throwing my disc while swinging while keeping my gun up. The only place they can come from is the bunker where the smoke was. They can drop the hatch, which I'll hear, or the tower walk down. So as long as I have my gun up towards the tower walk down, honestly, I can walk around and be wherever I want. Like, don't be afraid to be a little bit more aggressive. Because if you have everything on lock, you can swing and probably catch an attacker off guard. Oh my God, I swear I probably have almost a million clips of me on, <laughs> on Orkin Bunker, as will I. I don't know why that's reinforced, but it is, so we're holding it. I'm throwing my disc so I don't have to worry about grenades. Swinging back. What am I, Mario? <laughs> Anyways, like I said, don't be afraid to swing with this gun. I mean, even, a lot of times when I'm swinging somebody, I'm going to aim crouch head height because even if they're standing, I'll still get to do a lot of damage to their body and they'll probably die. If I'm pretty sure they're standing, obviously I was still gonna go for a headshot though. All right guys, that's gonna be it today on how to play Wamai. So a lot of today I focus on how to actually play as Wamai instead of just focusing on this gadget. Use your disc in situations where you feel like a teammate or yourself might get grenaded or flash banged out or you feel like just any type of attacker utility is going to come through. There's literally an infinite number of spots that's why i didn't really go over it too much because you can literally just throw them on the fly wherever you want you can use them on clubhouse rafters hold off the rafters like i mean just throwing this like this so you don't get grenaded from this door so any grenades or flashbangs from this door will be absorbed and also let's say you go to go to cafe i'd make line of sight here with your Kyrados. So you can hold like so while throwing discs. 
this. So you can hold pixel with that fear of being grenaded. So as long as they can't shoot this, I mean, they can shoot these because it's not bulletproof, but they're going to have to ping it to or get lucky and shoot through it. There are just so many ways of using this disc. There's just literally too many to count. So be creative with them. Uh, the good thing about Wamai is mostly for his firefight ability. So you are like picking an operator like Jaeger, but you're a little bit more flexible and you have decent guns. So you don't really need to be like the guy. Cause I mean, how often I hear this, I mean, hell yeah, I even complain about this. Oh my God, I, I hate playing Jaeger because guns are really bad. Then just play Wamai. Like as long as you're keeping out attack utility, at least somewhat, it is a lot better than not having anything and your teammates getting all killed by grenades. That's not going to be a good thing. So at least bring a Wamai and you'll be a lot better off. So guys, all right, make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, leave a like for more. I've been doing a lot of these guys. We have daily uploads. Like I'm grinding my butt off here. I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching the video. Till next time.